audition process like for you, Jen? How well did she do, John? And why did the band think that she was a good fit? It's a pretty big story you're asking right now. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I got asked to audition for them when I decided I was going to quit drums altogether because I wasn't good enough and I was like around all these crazy drummer guys that like wanted to be like Travis Barker and they were like, have you seen this latest drum fill and this new snare? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and so I was pretty convinced I wasn't meant to play anymore and then they asked me to try out and I was like, no. But then I prayed about it and I really felt like I was supposed to. So uh, I honestly don't know how the audition went so well other than that God really helped me through it because I was so frightened and, and the band all came to watch me play and they just looked so cool and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to play the drums for them. And I had to do three songs and I had to do a uh, solo and uh, they went surprisingly well and I still can't believe they went so well because I was so nervous the day before. I, I tried to play it for my friend Rosie and I was so nervous and my hands were so shaky. I was like, I can't do it and I kept like stopping. So um, it went really great. And then I tried to sabotage myself in the interview because I was so frightened that they might actually say yes to me that I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm never gonna play the drums again if I actually, uh, if I don't get in this band, I'll never play again. They scare me, I don't like them, I'm, I'm not good at them, and I don't, <laughs> so I kind of was like, because I don't want them to say yes to me now, I'm scared to death even more. Anyway, I got called the next, a call the next day and um, they had told me that there was gonna be a second audition. If I, like, if I made it to the second audition, they give me a call. So they call me over to their house and they're like, yeah, we've decided we'd like to go with you. Uh, we're gonna get you a drum kit and some inners and all this stuff and and I was literally thinking wow they're really going all out for this second audition and they're gonna like buy me a drum kit they must be so rich <laughs> you know and it took me a good 30 minutes to realize that I'd actually got into the band and um when I finally caught on I, I was like only the Lord only God could have done this because I made it like <laughs> I made it pretty hard on every other level. And so here I am playing drums with them and I can't even believe it. And I can't believe they let me and I feel so honored to be here and people like me and it's so nice. <laughs> I don't know, I'm like, sorry, that was a really long story. I tried to put it in a nutshell for you. John, what was it about Jen though? I mean, besides her skill talent, was there something about her that, that made her a good fit? Well, here's the thing. It's pretty clear. There's like one. You see her. There's like one percent. <laughs> there's like one percent of the population that has what you call in the show business. They're a star. Star power. And it's something that you can't really put your finger on what it is, and barely anybody has it's it. It's what the French call I don't know what. And so, firstly, we had seen Jen play at church, and there was nothing crazy flashy about it. But she has good feel, and the thing you can't teach someone is good feel. Everything else can be practiced, but you can't teach good feel. So we're like, all right, she has good feel. She's from our church, so we know her foundations are good. She's good friends with my sister, and I know she's a solid Christian that loves God. So those are two things in her favor. And then when we, even before we saw her audition, we thought, this chick is a star. I don't really know what that is, but what I know is people don't know her at all, and they love her. So she's got that winning thing that only 1% of the population has, which is a bonus if you have her in your band. And then... We thought, I thought, I hope she doesn't suck because I really do want a girl with me. And I had to pull his teeth to get her to try out anyway. She doesn't want to try out. He doesn't want her to. I'm like, please, please. <laughs> that is true. I was going to say, one of the biggest reasons she's in the band is because you wanted her to be so bad. Yes. I was like, I, you really, I need some help on the road. It's way, like 100 guys and me. You know I was what like, I mean? she's just way too cute to be a great drummer. And then she's she so sweet and there's no way she could be awesome. Completely killed the audition too. So it's not job. like she doesn't have skills. She has skills without even barely trying. She's already quit drums. She's learned double kick for two weeks and she's already better than drummers that I played with for a long time on yeah, a double kick. A I'm job. like, this chick is killing it. And, and then just she to was say like, how much I didn't want her in the band, we had like, uh, uh, sorry, I didn't know her at all. I just thought there's no way that she's going to be an awesome drummer. Our church is very small. It's like I 200 people. I thought she was people, you know, so. great and, and, and wonderful and stuff. I was like, honestly. So um, after the, the 10 drummers we tried out, she's the only one that I made play um, Tom Sawyer from Rush. <laughs> I was trying to prove a point, and she did it. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. That was kind of good. <laughs> 
then on top of that, um, at the end of the um, audition, I'd finished playing the drums and he's like, oh, what are you up to next week? And I was like, oh, it was, it's my birthday, so I'll probably, I don't know, be doing something then. He was like, oh, how old are you going to be? I was like, I'm going to be 18. And he was like, <laughs> he's like, how long have you been playing for? I was like, I don't know, like just under four years. And he's like, I would never have asked you to play for us. I would never have let you audition had I known how young you were. He's like, I thought you were 21 and I thought that was too young. So <laughs> a lot of things lined up for me in my favor that somehow allowed this I think to it was the Lord. I think that's why. I think it was pretty clearly someone else taking care of this. it was the Lord and and they, t they double teamed up. And the Lord gave her a little double portion. There you go. She, the golden receiver. <laughs> she did such a great job. You know, we love having Jen. She's she's amazing she's awesome. and such a great person to be with, and and you know, on the road and everything. That's awesome. <laughs>